In today's video, we're going to look at how we can scale up and scale down with proportions. And we do this stuff when we're told about the relationship between two different things. For example, if you take a look at this question here, we're told that 7 bottles of juice cost £4.20. And we're asked how much will 3 bottles cost. So the relationship in this question is about the number of bottles and the cost of those bottles. We're told that 7 bottles is £4.20, but we need to work out how much 3 bottles will cost. Now, the key idea with this type of question is to first of all figure out how much just one of them will cost, and then we can use that figure to find out how much any other amount of them will cost. For example, if £4.20 is the cost of 7 bottles, then to find the cost of a single bottle, all we do is divide the £4.20 by 7, telling us that each bottle costs 0 0.6 pounds, or 60p. And then to find out how much 3 bottles costs, like it asks us in the question, we just take the 60p and multiply it by 3 to get 180 pence, or £1.80. And that's it, we found that the 3 bottles will cost £1.80. Let's have a go at another one. Julia is a professional cat walker, and gets paid £45 for walking 18 cats in a day. How much would she earn for walking 34 cats? So this time, the first thing we want to do is figure out how much she gets paid per cat that she walks, which we can do by dividing the total of £45 by the 18 cats, which gives us 2.5. Or, in other words, she gets paid £2.50 per cat that she walks. And so to find out how much she'll get paid for walking 34 cats, we just multiply 34 by £2.50 to find that she'd get £85. Now, one of the fairly common questions in this topic is working with recipes. And the way they normally work is that you'll be given a recipe, like this one, which tells you how much of each ingredient you need to bake a certain number of cakes. And then you'll be asked how much of one of the ingredients you'd need if you wanted to bake a different number of cakes. For example, the question could be something like this. On the right is the recipe to bake 12 small cakes. If Elsa wants to bake 18 small cakes, how much sugar will she need? So, like in our previous questions, what we want to do here is first of all work out how much sugar she would need for one cake, and then multiply that by 18 to find out how much she'd need for all 18 cakes. So first, we take the 180 grams of sugar and divide it by 12 to find that each cake requires 15 grams of sugar. And then we can multiply that 15 grams by 18 to find out that she needs need a total of 270 grams of sugar if she wants to bake 18 cakes. And remember that we could use this exact same technique for any of the other ingredients as well. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.